Chat GBT Price always matters. has said that the stock market will begin to fall apart on February 15th. That is Wednesday. You want to talk about that? Yeah, I mean, this is one of those things when you have these open-ended questions and you have AI, you know, giving you responses. And so, you know, Ian, it was funny because you said they can't give you the prices, they can't give you the prices. Well, somebody asked, when do they see the stock market falling? And yeah. they gave the date, February 15th. So that is Wednesday. And then I started reading some of But notice they scrubbed out, if you put in Apple, what's the best price to buy Apple and Microsoft, they won't give they, you that way, they, they haven't They haven't done that yet. That is true. Um, which is, I mean, again, interesting. Um, then I started yeah. seeing some analysts uh, create stories around that. And so it, it's, it's changing the world, man. Three months ago, forget three months ago, five months ago, we weren't think, thinking of AI in this sense. Three months later, we have to think of it in the future context of what it can do. It's changing, and we thought mm -hmm. like, yeah, it will change media, it will change education. It has a, a chance to change finance. Um, so we gotta be very mindful of what's happening. What's your thoughts on? What's your thoughts on? Everybody chime in on this. Ian, what's your, you, you want you want a political take? Political take, or you want my honest opinion? What's your honest opinion? This is this is Market Mondays. This is Market Mondays. As long as don't please don't curse. Um, don't curse. I'm not. <laughs> but not, please, you sound like my dad. My dad just told me to hey, ease back on that cursing now. <laughs> please, please. Too please. <laughs> um, I um, it would be a great help if Chat GPT didn't filter out the information. Um, I wish they would give a price. I know they don't want the risk associated with um, the probability of the market falling beginning on the 15th. I would like to see the data around that. So the people that I end up talking to uh, about this at Goldman and JP Morgan, they're like, it's not going to happen in February. Like capital is still flowing in from hedge funds to clients accounts. Um, are we going to see a pullback for sure? But is it going to be like a cataclysmic fall? We also have to, so this is the game inside of the game. NFTs and crypto fell apart. AI is a new sensation, right? So Hulk Hogan is dead, crypto and NFT. Here comes Ultimate Warrior, AI, and they're doing everything they can to keep it front and center. What better way to do so than to make it a predictive model around one of the most important financial ecosystems that is the stock market? Um, if I were chat GPT, I would pull an Elon-like move and I would give one stock or asset class and tell them either where to buy or where to short it and then the fanfare of it around it would be even bigger than it is now i think it's a little bit hypey to say on the 15th that it's going to fall yeah. without giving um, like obviously i'm sure there's some technical analysis that that was put into that or, or maybe not right like who knows the, 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 the fact it. that you don't I mean, know where the prediction is coming from it's like uh, anybody could say that, but also but we have. So here, here's has, the thing, right? Like yeah. we've seen the intelligence of this AI, right? We've seen it pass the bar. We've seen it pass a lot of testing. So mm -hmm. there's obviously intelligence there. We just don't know where where it's coming from. It passed the bar and it passed the medical, the medical exam. Whatever exam they take. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not gonna play about the MCAT. That's I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> thank, thank you. Practice it slipped my mind. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah. That, that's, that's, that's my soul. Yeah, I whatever. People so dedicate that, no six years thing. of their life for that. They dedicate man. 15 years of their life that's for it. That's what I'm saying. So it's like you know, it, it passed. It passed the medical exam and it passed the bar exam. What's next? Series seven. Homework. Series seven. Series seven is next. How much would the GDP of America need to drop in order for the stock market to go down? Also, we also know. The market has the highest probability of going up on Mondays and Fridays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, as much capital is not deployed. I would have loved to have seen them say that the market is going to fall on a Monday and we have like a Black Friday kind of event. I like technology. I think it's amazing. Um, I will say, though, for all my marketers, a lot of this technology that ChatGPT built was copied from Russell Brunson. Brunson had this shit out four years, excuse me, four years ago. <laughs> Mike Clip, please, please. There's a game inside of it. Oh, okay. Everyone that was pushing NFT heavy on a venture side, how do you pivot so hard after doing marketing for so long on NFTs when there are, and this is the second time that internet marketing entrepreneurs have been copied and or ripped off and then it went to Angel and VC. Do I think the technology is amazing? Absolutely. 
Do I think it is the second coming of Christ? Is they're marketing it now? No. They've scrubbed, like, so I was on, like, the second version. 3.5 is dramatically filtered in comparison to 2.0. Oh, you're talking about chat? Yeah, they, so that was one of the things in round two. We didn't get to round two, but we'll get to that another at a later time, that the Microsoft-Google battle. Um, they're, they're thinking 4.0 is going to be the one that brings everybody back to being or at least brings people to being I'll to be separated. I'll go on record now. No one's going right. to Bing. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll probably see a tick of 9% to 10%. percent what do you say, percentages wise? 9 to 10%. Take a little bit of market. I mean, you take a little bit of market share. That's how you start. I, I mean, it's going to be interesting, man. Round one, we already saw it. If, if they get ahead eight or nine rounds, bro, it's going to be tough. Bing, Bing, they're going to have to rebrand. Like, Bing's not going to do it. Bing's not going to do it. Google, big misstep. Yes. Big misstep. Yeah. And, and that right. was a part that was kind of like surprising. It was like reading that the executives were like, why do we do this? We shouldn't have done this. We, this was reactive. This wasn't proactive. Like, we were reacting too early. We weren't ready to, to release this. It wasn't time. Yeah. But they had to do something. So What will be interesting, however, is when they begin to integrate the AI into YouTube. Mm. That's going to be... Now, if they can filter comments, this is what I really want to see. I want to see one of these AI platforms have like an autoresponder for not only email, social media, but YouTube engagement. That would be different. So now if you can find a way to integrate BARD into YouTube, and now you can tie that into AdSense and now have engagement around the clock, Microsoft can't touch that. Can't, yeah. can't touch this. My graduates from my school being Forbes, backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs> a mic drop. Backdrop. Backdrop. <laughs>